It is unclear if the National Basketball Association has abandoned London, England as an annual spot for a European regular season game. The NBA played its 2020 European game in Paris and plans to return to France in 2021. London was on the outside looking in as its NBA run apparently is over. The National Football League as a number of games in the city every year. The National Hockey League has found more hockey-friendly countries as furlough marketing grounds and has left London and England behind. But Major League Baseball has its eyes set on London as the gateway city to Europe. There will be another attempt to gain English sports fans' favor with MLB sending the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs to London for a pair of games on June 13th and June 14th. According to an English economics study, the 2019 New York Yankees-Boston Red Sox two-game June series did a whole lot of business in London. Allegedly, the two baseball games brought in 37 million pounds to London, but it was more than just that. Another 9 million pounds was spent in the rest of England. How the games impacted the Shetland Islands is unclear. Based on the sample size of 2,000 people, economists claim that people who went to the game came from the United States and other parts of the world. There were about 119,000 tickets sold for the two games. The Economist claimed 65% of those who watched the games didn't live in London. Major League Baseball was rather pleased with merchandise sales. After all, there is money to be made in the selling of hats, t-shirts, and other products that include Major League Baseball logos. The London series was MLB's best merchandising sales showing since the 2008 New York All-Star event. Pounds are as good as dollars. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.